Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, the Raiding with Leashes 2 achievement that came out with uh, 5.3 on Tuesday. And as you can see, I have one of them. And I ran all of them. I was quite disappointed that only one dropped, but that's okay. Um, so uh, to get these, you need to run uh, three Burning Crusade raids. Uh, so it's level 70. Uh, Karazhan, Serpent Shrine Cavern, and Tempest Keep. I'll give you a quick idea on how to run through them as we go through. Um, and yeah, it's it's not difficult. You might want to get someone to run through them with you. Some of the fights can be kind of difficult. You can absolutely one uh, solo it at level 90, um, but it's fun to do it with someone anyway. So um, let's get started. So the first one we're going to talk about is uh, Serpent Shrine Cavern. It's the first one I've opened. Um, so you can see I got the uh, Tainted Waveling. And this guy's really, really fun. Um, every so often he'll get cleansed of his poison, he just becomes a regular water elemental. He looks like the uh, mages, the frost mages water elemental pet. And then after about 30 seconds, he goes back to being green and tainted. It's really, really cute. Um, so he drops off of Hydros the Unstable, which is the first boss of Serpent Shrine Cavern. Serpent Shrine Cavern is in Zangermarsh, where the rest of the dungeons are in the Coil Fang drop down area. Sorry, I should probably, yeah, I'll show you. Uh, so in the Coil Fang Reservoir, drop down the pipes, go down. And if you're looking from left to right, there's four entrances. You want the third one from the left, and it is the one behind the waterfall. It's the only one behind a waterfall, so it makes it pretty easy to find. Uh, so the first boss, um, you will go around... I wish I could open up a map of this. Um, you will go around um, a loop, first of all, and then there will be a boss right at the side, and then you go around and to the center and you fish up another boss. That's the second boss. Um, then you start to go up the stairs, I believe. Yes, you start to go up the stairs. You will fight Laoth Laothros the Blind, the Fathom Lord Karthus, and then you will get to Morgarim the Tidewalker. And he will drop the Tide Skipper. So he looks just like one of these, and there's a bunch of Murlocs running around. And then the last one comes off of Lady Bash. She's the sixth and final boss. And this fight is a little bit complicated. Um, it's This is where I think it's a good idea to have someone else. There will be all of these ads once she hits, I think, about 50% health. Maybe 25, somewhere in there. And you have to kill the you have to kill them all without you know running out of mana, which can be difficult if you're mana-based. Um, and then there's another one that stuns and immobilizes you, and you have to kill him pretty quick. But uh, you have to wait for the tainted ones. And once the tainted one dies, they drop an item, and you need to click on the post and get rid of her shield basically and once you've killed I think it's four of them and you've used the items um then you can finish her off and she drops the coil fang stalker which is one of my favorite pets i was so excited when they brought one of these into the game you see these guys wandering around um zanger marsh a lot and i always thought they were really cute and pretty and yeah i'm kind of a dork okay anyway so that's serpent shrine cavern um the next one we're going to look at is tempest keep um, Tempest Keep is a little bit more difficult, especially the last fight, um, but you don't need to fight the last boss in this. You only need to fight the first three. Uh, so you can see there's four bosses, You and the pets all drop off the first three, so if you don't want to have to finish it, you really don't have to. Um, so, Alar is the first one, and she is a big phoenix, and she drops the Phoenix Hawk Hatchling. Once you fight her, you'll pick a side to go down. It doesn't matter which side you go down. Um, and the next one on the list, though, is the Void Reaver. And he drops the Pocket Reaver. And this guy has a silence. So if you are doing this as a caster, be prepared for a very long fight. If you're doing this as melee, you won't have any problems. Um, and the last one is the High Astrom Astromancer Solarian. And she drops one of the void guys and you'll see you see these guys um in tempest keep and also in the sunwall plateau dungeons and areas so any kind of blood elf area tends to have a lot of these guys um so yeah this this one these ones are pretty simple to get except like i said the pocket reaver um he likes to silence um caster so i did this with uh, my fiance he was on his rogue and it went by pretty quickly i should mention car uh serpent shrine i did with my friend who was a druid and it took the last fight took us a while, but we got it done. And the last one is Karazhan. Now, uh, the vampiric battling uh, you can't get anymore, so that one's not counting. We're just counting these first four. So Karazhan is a fairly long raid. Like, be prepared to spend about an hour doing it at 90. 
um, the rest of them take I would say under half an hour um, so I'm gonna I'm counting in terms of bosses I'm counting um, I'm not gonna be counting the animal bosses because they're rares and they don't really show up um, and they're not mandatory for doing the, the raid, but I am going to count Nightbane in terms of number. So uh, the first pet drops on the fourth boss, which is the Opera event. So how the Opera event works in Karazhan is um, you, you know, you go, you kill the first three bosses, which are all very, very simple. And then you go to this stage and you'll get one of three events. One is based on Romeo and Juliet, one is based on the Wizard of Oz, and one is based on Little Red Riding Hood. And this is the one you this is the one that needs to happen in order for you to get the pet. Um, so actually I will just show you here. So you can see they all will have it they will all have a chance to drop these, and then you get an extra drop from this one. So the first time I did it, we did actually get Big Bad Wolf, but he didn't the spiky collar didn't drop. And you will end up getting um, a smaller version of this boss. Uh, and then Nightbane, you need to do a quest chain in order to get, um, so you may not be able to do him. You know, that's what she said. Um, but it's not, again, it's not required. For the old achievements, you only had to do the last boss to get the achievements, for the old raids, so don't, to get the achievements, don't worry about that. Um, so we're gonna skip down to the Curator, which is the sixth boss, technically. And he drops the Menagerie Custodian. And then the next boss is terrestrian ill hoof and he drops the fiendish imp and then once you get past the chess event which if you're doing this by yourself godspeed my friends because this it was hard enough with two people i can't imagine doing it with one it can be done and there's guides you can find online to doing it um but the last boss prince uh, malchazar drops the abyss the nether space abyssal um so that's pretty much it. I'm thinking at some point, um, once I run out of achievements for one of my categories, probably pets, um, I will do old dungeons and raids achievements and stuff, but, um, Karazhan is one of the ones, sp take the time and, like, listen to what people have to say. It's a really interesting raid. Um, the whole premise behind it is just, they, Blizzard was definitely on the ball when they made this raid, and I'm, it's one of my favorites to go back and run. Um, so yeah, hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.